feel. Frog. My name is Chris Vogel. I work for Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife with the Willamette Wildlife Mitigation Program, and I'm the restoration and monitoring biologist. We're here at Coyote Creek South. So that's Coyote Creek. Coyote Creek is a tributary of the Long Tom. Coyote Creek flows into Fern Ridge Reservoir. This site is at Fern Ridge Wildlife Area, which is located just west of Eugene. Uh, the property here was purchased in 2013 with funding from Bonneville Power Administration. The site is just over 300 acres. About 100 acres is riparian and wetland and uh, 200 acres is was agricultural fields. The site was a former hunting club and for years it had been kind of left fallow. So we've been battling a lot of invasive species such as reed canary grass and Himalayan blackberry and English hawthorn. Uh, the site is going through multi-year restoration phases. We're working with partners such as the Long Tom Watershed Council and Ducks Unlimited to achieve these objectives. More recently this last year, we focused on the enhancement of these wetland cells. Uh, the wetland cells required the installation of water control structures. So through a North American Wetlands Conservation Act grant that Ducks Unlimited had, we secured the funds for engineering support as well as contract support and the purchase of the water control structures. And so this is kind of a fabricated structure and so we can adjust our levels depending upon where we want them. And behind us, as you can see, we're, we're holding about two feet of water on this cell not as deep as you'd think. Some of the species that we're providing habitat out here include um, following Oregon Conservation Strategy species, um, western pond turtle, the northern red-legged frog, long-toed salamander. Uh, in addition to lots of wintering waterfowl, we have wood duck, mallards, uh, dusky Canada geese. So we put these up because a lot of problems with elk and or no rodents grazing on the plant. Let's see if it's even emerged yet. Usually April is when it flowers and uh, it'll throw up. So it's called, here it is, it's called Bradshaw's Desert Parsley and it looks like it's a bulb and there it is. It's starting to come up. Its leaves are just starting to so it's kind of like a carrot, um, and then it has these little yellow bald flowers. And so kind of what we've found is that rodents, particularly I think rabbits, they like to chew on it. Um, but one of the things that is really not so good for it is the encroachment of grass. Yeah, so if we were to go back in there, um, yeah, there's lots back there. 